Qatar condemns the assassination of Iran's top nuclear scientist. More good news for those applying for a visa to Qatar. Hamad Medical Corporation leads the way yet again when it comes to mental health. And stay tuned for this heartwarming story of how doctors at Sidra help put an end to this 10-year-old boy's suffering. Hi, I'm Minna and this is The Ronda. Qatar's Foreign Minister Mohammed bin Abdurrahman Al Thani has called for restraint following the assassination of top Iranian scientists. Tehran has vowed to seek retribution after Mohsen Fakhrizadeh was killed in a car ambush on Friday. In a call to his Iranian counterpart Javad Zarif, Al Thani condemned the killing and called it a clear violation of human rights. Qatar's Foreign Minister also called for what he described as fundamental solutions to the problem that currently exists between Iran and other countries. Now, after last week's announcement by the government that the controversial exceptional entry permit system will be amended, some more good news. The Minister of Interior has announced that the Qatar Visa Center in India will be reopening in a few days. Starting December 3rd, Indians wanting a Qatar visa will be able to get one from the center's seven offices located across India. Head over to our website for more. In another positive move to improve mental health in Qatar, Hamad Medical Corporation is training 1,500 staff on how to recognize mental illness symptoms. The training is hoped to help doctors identify patients who may be suffering from mental health issues as early as possible in order to ensure they're offered the necessary help and treatment. 200 emergency medics have already undergone the training with the other 1,500 to complete the course by April 2021. And finally, doctors from Sidra Medicine have performed a rare life-saving surgery on a Kuwaiti boy. 10-year-old Salim underwent a complicated epilepsy surgery to help end his daily suffering. Salim used to experience up to 30 seizures a day, some of which lasted for up to 4 minutes. Since the surgery, Salem has not experienced any seizures. Head over to dohanews.co for the full story. That was all for today's roundup. For more stories, head over to our website.